le Niger est classé parmi les derniers pays du monde, les plus pauvres. Influence fortement islamiste à 99%. Et chaque année, le Niger vit dans un cycle de famine. Donc, ça veut dire qu'il y a crise alimentaire chaque année. La moitié de la population du Niger est jeune et enfant. De, de, des enfants qui, qui mangent seulement que un, une fois par jour. Et même la ration qu'ils mangent n'a pas de vitamines, c'est des, 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 des repas très pauvres. Et les enfants sont généralement malnutris. A busy morning for the Christ Fellowship Church in Palm Beach Gardens as the second annual Make a Meal for Africa event kicked off. Today, what we're doing is about 10,000 of us are getting together and we're making meals, about 325,000 meals for kids in West Africa. We made some boxes of food for the kids. Uh, we wrapped them up and we prayed for the boxes. We just helped out with packing the food for the families out in Africa. It was incredible making meals for the kids. It was warm and fulfilling experience. Lorsque nous avons entendu que Christ Fellowship est en train de nous envoyer de la nourriture pour nos populations. C'était une excitation parce que le produit répondait à une urgence. N'oubliez pas, au Niger, les moments les plus difficiles, c'est juillet, août, septembre. En ce moment, la nourriture qui était là était finie et la nouvelle nourriture n'est pas sortie encore. Donc c'est le moment le plus difficile et les gens ont eu à manger à cette période -là. La communauté de Christ Fellowship aux États-Unis, nous voudrions vous saluer. Une chose claire, nous avons donné 300 000 repas au peuple du Niger venu de chez vous. Et nous voudrions vous dire, au nom du peuple du Niger, merci et que le Seigneur vous bénisse. I just love being able to take some time to step back and look at all the ways God has worked through our church through you over this past year. We've recently been able to partner with One Hope to reach nearly 7 million children and teenagers in West Africa. We've helped to resource the people of these regions with materials to build churches all across countries like Niger and Benin. Inside the walls of these churches, God is working miracles in people's lives as they learn more about Him and His Word and His ways. We've also partnered with One Hope to develop the Children's Bible app as an online tool that's being used all around the world This app has been translated into 19 different languages so that children everywhere can begin to learn about Jesus and his love for them. Your Christ birthday offering made this app a reality, and now it's in the hands of over 10 million children. That's 10 million kids that will know that Jesus loves them and has a plan and a purpose for their lives. But our focus isn't only on kids overseas. We're making sure that we look after the needs right here in South Florida by partnering with organizations like Place of Hope, Place of Hope is our faith-based, state-licensed children organization that's providing family-style foster care for hundreds of children in our region. Place of Hope also helps to train and place foster kids into families' homes within our own church. And this year, we will continue to train and equip families like yours that feel called to make their home a safe and nurturing environment for children coming out of the foster care system. This past year, we partnered with churches all across our region to do the same thing. And we've seen hundreds of families go through the training and open up their homes and their hearts to these kids. Together, we are seeing God write a new story on the hearts of these kids and watching them step into the bright future that God has for them. Our partnership with area churches is called Church United. And this year, we work together to address many issues and needs in our community. We believe that when the church is strong and vibrant, the needs of the community are being met. Together, Church United hosted Nick Vujicic down at Florida Atlantic University's football stadium. We saw over 25,000 people in the community come out to hear Nick's story. Thousands came forward that night to give their life to Jesus Christ. And then we had Nick with us this past year, and we saw one of the biggest weekends ever with over 37,000 people in attendance and 3,000 339 people came forward to make a decision for Christ. Church, you were a part of each and every one of these God stories through your giving. From our work in West Africa, to caring for the children in South Florida, to sharing the gospel through the Bible app or filling up stadiums, we remember what this season is all about. God so loved the world that He gave. He gave His best. He gave sacrificially. He gave willingly so that we could be found. 
and our giving through our Christ birthday offering is going to help us reach even more this coming year. It's on our hearts as a church to reach out and serve the struggling and the failing schools in our area, helping the teachers and administrators succeed. We want to provide resources and tutoring so that the children in our own communities will flourish and reach their potential. We also want to expand our influence through our safe house. Every week there are more girls here in South Florida being rescued out of human trafficking that we just can't take in. So this coming year, our goal is to double our capacity to care for them and to help God begin the healing process in their lives. Together, as we prepare to give our Christ birthday offering in the next couple weeks, let's prepare to give like God gave, sacrificially and generously, so that others can be found. Let's be willing to give something that we have so that others can find the someone that they need. God bless you and Merry Christmas.